You're watching Sunbelt Conference basketball tonight on ESPN. We're looking to snap a four-game losing skid and bounce back from what was a tough loss at Marshall on Saturday. Georgia State basketball begins a stretch of four straight home games tonight. A visit from the Georgia Southern Eagles to start things off. Panthers and Eagles met 12 days ago down at Hanner Fieldhouse at Statesboro. Georgia Southern winning by six. Played almost two minutes. Here's Tucker driving by the defenders off the glass shot. No good off the front iron. A lot of contact there with big Carlos Curry who's going to pick up his first. 18 starts in 19 games as he gets that first free throw to get Georgia State on the scoreboard. Savrasov to a cutting more backside. The shot rolls off the rim. The rebound, Georgia State. Jermaine Mann gets it ahead to Tucker. Tucker all the way to the rim. The driving layup from the right wing is good. Oh, nice pass. Nice notice by Tucker that he had that lane wide open. Goes in and lays it up for an easy two for the Panthers. <laughs> on the inbounds, it ball is deflected. Dewan Odom going to take it all the way for the driving layup. Jermaine Mann a little slow getting up on the other end, but a nice steal on the inbounds play in a transition basket. Sends it back over Odom. Dewan working around the Namoko screen out front Hudson. A lot of contact, no whistle. Colin Moore driving it all the way. Got inside the paint with the right hand off the glass. Back up top, Odom spins. Problem is, he's got Caden Archie in front of him. Long three there by Evan Johnson, no good. Offensive rebound, back up and in, and good by Jaheim Hudson. Great job by Jaheim, giving the Panthers a second chance opportunity, and he makes it fall, not only, but the arm happened also. It's going to get Jaheim to the line, as you see the replay right here, as he's battling hard, gets it in for two, going to get to the free throw line to have an opportunity to complete three-point play. Hudson at the line, this is to complete a three-point play. Shot is up good. Yep, averaging 10.5 points per game. Jaheim Hudson's put together a very good season. Juan lobs it back out to Jermaine Mann, who's back in the ball game. Jermaine trying to get around Curry. Turn around, shot is good. Odom quickly front court. Trying to drive into the paint. Shooter in the corner is Tucker. Three is good for Brendan Tucker. Look to go to Jermaine Mann. Instead comes the other way to Colin Moore. Everybody get out of the way. And Colin like, hey, look at this. Wide open lane to the rim. Beautiful, beautiful play by Colin. Once again, recognizing that they were expecting him to hand the ball off. Took it straight through, slipped the pick. Easy bucket for the Panthers. Colin Moore to the right. Here's Jermaine Mann. Gets around Savrasov. Goes right up off the glass with the right hand counted. And there's a steal. And it's going to be a... Foul called against Kamari Brown. Yes, Kamari did not mean to trip Colin Moore, but he did, and that impeded his progress to get that loose ball. Referees had to call something. Media timeout here in Atlanta with 5.52 to go. We got a one-point ball game, Georgia State, Georgia Southern. You're watching Sunbelt Conference basketball on ESPN. Georgia State looking to reclaim the lead. Man, down low to Caleb Scott. Get out! Bounce pass from Dewan Odom, who picks up the assist. Interior passing, that's what the Panthers are. To Jalen Finch, Savrasov on the wing. The three, in and out, no good. We got a whistle and a foul, and Doug Show's lead official going to jump in between Curry and Caleb Scott. It got a little heated in the lane. It's all good, man. Caleb, Caleb did not back down. Curry got a little slung around like a rag doll right there. Took a fence to it. They got back in each other's, each other's face, but neither player back down. We just have to keep it clean right now. And all this is going to do is make the referees call it closer the rest of the night. Bounce pass to Juan Odom. Trying to go inside Jermaine Mann. And that's going to be short. Ed Namoko got a rebound. Goes back up. Easy as basket. He'll have all night. I know that's right. The young fella gave the Panthers a second chance opportunity and it pays dividends for two. Panthers now in the lead once again. Odom out in the wing. Ball circles back around. Jaheim Hudson will shoot it, and he'll hit it from about 15 feet and tie the ball game at 27. Jermaine catch and shoot three. Good, knocks it down up top right wing, ties the game at 30 just like that. And the Panthers needed that right there. Jermaine Mann stepped up, had that opening, knocks down that three for the Panthers. Now we have a new game. It's tied again. Odom around the screen. Spins back up top, catch and shoot three, man, buries it this time from the left wing. That's right, giving the Eagles one chance opportunities. Tucker open three, good from the left wing. And Georgia State has their biggest lead again, 38-30. Finch will control the dribble, 
McFadden going to set him a screen. Jaheim Hudson trying to deny, and they forced the turnover. All Jaheim did was force him to his left, and his left was out of bounds. He moved his feet. And, you know, my old coach, Coach Washington, Ernest Washington, would say back in the day, put your foot on the baseline. And that's what Jaheim did. All right, that's going to lead us into a media timeout. We take a look at that last strong play defensively there by Jaheim Hudson. Eight-point lead for Georgia State here in Atlanta, 38-30. Goes up inside. The shooter in the corner is man for three. In and out, no good. McFatton the rebound. Khalid Brooks almost came up with a steal, but forces the turnover. Yes, once again, those are the things that Khalid Brooks brings to the team. May not all show up on the stat book, but he is always sacrificing his body, as you can see. Right here, gets that hand in there, knocks the ball out, and gives the Panthers another possession. Dwan Odom back in his way in. He's at the free throw line, pulls up, short jumper, good. And he looks to the <laughs> ceiling as if to say, thank goodness, finally yes. a shot went down. Dwan Odom in the paint, off to Hudson. And he goes up for the layup. Around the Odom screen, try to get in the paint all the way. He says, look what I can do. Finch can do it. I can do it, too. No doubt about it. Tucker has a quick, quick first step. Gets around the hole. Easy basket for the Panthers. Brendan Tucker, free throw line. Floater in the air. It's up and good. Kind of was a little indecisive, and then at the last second said, I'm going for the shot. Yeah, I think he did a great job of making Curry think he was going to pull it back out, then went back in for the floater and knocks it down for the Panthers. Off to Tucker, eight on the shot clock. Odom, the lob down low to Jaheim. Hudson in the paint. Hook shot with the right hand up and good. Bounce pass Hudson, leaves it off for Tucker. Cutting is Colin Moore, and he ends up with a layup. What a great pass by Tucker to find Moore, and Moore finished at the rim. That's what you call the back door right there. Great pass. Aaron bounce pass, Georgia Southern. McFatton on the other end, blocked from behind by Jaheim Hudson. It knocked McFatton down. They're going to call a foul on Jaheim. 51-47. Jermaine Mann in traffic, spinning up all the way, driving layups. He got the inside position on McFatton. Ball, though, secured by Jalen Finch. Down low, they go to Sabrasov. Sabrasov back and forth with Archie, and he threw it away. Off to Jermaine Mann. Jermaine's going to shoot the three and hit it up top. Jermaine Mann. That was 16 points as he hits his third three-point field goal here in the second half alone. That defense is giving him that three-point shot. Jermaine is stepping up big, knocking it down. In, in that same range of scoring right there, these, uh, these guys are really putting in some points for the Panthers tonight. And once again, with Jermaine Mann taking what the defense gives them and knocking down those threes, it's really paying dividends for the Panthers. Dewan Odom. Five-point Georgia State lead. The Panthers have the ball. Kalik Brooks checking in out of the timeout. Bounce entry to Hudson. Jaheim goes up inside, right baseline off the window. What nice patience by the Panthers getting Jaheim Hudson a post look, and it pays dividends as he rolls to the basket and knocks it off the board for two. Moore driving up inside, can't get a shot back up top. Sabrasov blocked by Jermaine Mann. Got it back, fires it up, it's no good. Shot clock violation. Yes. Great job playing defense by Georgia State, denying that open three, which is what you know they wanted. That's a great defensive, once again, set by the Panthers, like you said, Dave. Gives the Panthers back the ball. And now the clock is not the Georgia Southern Eagles friend right now. The Panthers really, really can kind of run it down and get a good shot on the uh, on the offensive end. Here's Caden Archie driving, knocked down. That should be an offensive foul against Archie. And taking the charge was Brendan Tucker. Yes, Brendan Tucker got position. Archie ran him smack over. Referee had no choice. It was an offensive foul. And that's the 17 foul on Georgia Southern Eagles. 35 seconds remaining. 16 points in the game tonight. Make it 17 as he hits the first free throw. And the front end is good. On the way. And he hits that one. Tucker's got 18. If he misses this one and the Panthers with the rebound, you got immediate foul. He tries to miss it. And lane violation, violation against Georgia Southern. Lane violation. Stepped over the line before the ball hit the rim. Yep. So now, Panthers. Have to get the ball in with 2.5 seconds. And the first one is good. Putting a little pressure on Tucker. 
Second one, good. Made those two look easy. He's got 20. Final score again, Georgia State holds on and pulls out a four-point win as they light it blue in Atlanta. 64-60 the final score for Rodney Turner and our entire ESPN crew. Dave Cohen saying good night from Atlanta. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN mobile app. Tonight's broadcast has been a presentation of ESPN.